Hello, we're back. You're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. Confession from the Quarantine is a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And what happens on Confessions from the Quarantine, you send to me your daily problems about life, about love, relationships, whatever your issues may be, please consider sending them to me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. And what I'll do is once you send the information to me, I'll jot all the information down and then reply back typically the following week with a common sense solution. Again, today is Saturday, July 3rd. The month, I mean, the year is just flying by. It's crazy. July 3rd, season number two, episode number 56. Season number two, episode number 56. Hey, Terry, again, you're here with me, Father Al with Confessions from the Quarantine a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can contact me 24 hours a day. Hey, Paula, you can contact me 24 hours a day. Telephone number you can reach me is area code 623 623-764-8893, 623-764-8893. Hey, Jody, <laughs> 623 One more time, 623 You can also send an email to me. The email address is confessthesins at symbol gmail.com. On the subject line, go ahead and write Dear Father Al. And in the body of the message, give me about 500 words or less. And then what I'll, what I'll do again, I'll jot all the information down and then reply back typically the following week with a common sense solution. Please click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. For those of you who celebrate the 4th of July, hey, have a happy and safe 4th of July. We're not doing any fireworks here in the Phoenix area. So if it, wherever you are, if you guys are enjoying some fireworks, hey, shoot a couple off for me because I really enjoy watching fireworks. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope to help you make a decision in life, about life, about love, relationships, whatever the issue may be, please again consider contacting me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. So let's go and roll forward with the first one. And what I'll do is I'll read off the letters that I receive. And while I'm reading those off, if by chance, if you have some comments you want to interject, you experience a similar situation, please go ahead and interject your comments in the chat line. And after I'm done replying with my response, then I'll go ahead and read off what you have interjected in the chat line. All right, so you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up. Tell as many people about this broadcast as possible. So this is what I received last week. It reads, Dear Father Al, my wife is three years away from being eligible for retirement compensation at her job. I'm planning on retiring the day after my 55th birthday. I do computer IT for the government. Turn 55 on December 29th of this year. Going to be retiring December 30th of this year. I'm happy to say the least. All right, so there, uh, as it reads, there have been new changes at her job. She now has a much younger supervisor who has many new ideas. Imagine that, you know. <laughs> My wife is set in her ways and can be resistant to, many, to making a change just for the sake of doing so. Noted. She wants to quit. What can I do 
to convince her to stay. Signed, supportive spouse. All right, supportive spouse, I'm going to go ahead and reply back to you. If by chance, if you're, you know, close to like three years or so away from retirement, you've got a spouse, a friend, or someone close to you that is close to retirement and they're dealing with something similar, or if you've experienced something similar, please go ahead and interject your comments in the chat line and I will read those off as well. Again, click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about this broadcast as possible. All right, supportive spouse. This is what I got for you. Dear supportive spouse, there are challenges to a senior worker as technologies, equipment, and personal change and younger energized employees become the supervisors. You stated she has three years before she can retire and acquire a satisfactory deserved retirement compensation. Some sweet classic spousal techniques might help you encourage her to remain. You gotta cross your fingers on this one. Your support and encouragement with a special dinner night out could be a good start, especially as we come out of the pandemic. Here's some other ideas for you. Consider the extended medical coverage um, as a serious goal. You know, when she retires and she's eligible, eligible for extended medical coverage, so that's, that's a bonus. Support her and listen and, you know, continually encourage her, hey, babe, you know, honey, honey, you know, just, just stick it out. You're almost there. You're close to the finish line, that kind of stuff. Also, su suggest a midday uh, gym, you know, gym membership. All right, so go there with her and, you know, find some sexy, bulky, you know, whatever, whatever she, you know, finds attractive, find an attractive personal trainer, tra personal trainer for her. So when she goes to work and then she's looking forward to seeing, you know, kind of like the hunky fireman kind of thing, looking forward to seeing some, uh, some hot looking hunk for, uh, for motivation to go to work while she's doing some exercise in midday. So she'll be happy during her lunch period. He may introduce her to healthy snacks, you know, and whatnot. It'd be very complimentary to her, uh, that kind of stuff. So I think that that may help out uh, as well. Also, uh, talk to her about vacation goals, including extended trips. Just keep pumping her up, keep pumping her up, keep pumping her up and just getting her excited about going to work. And I'm hopeful, support a spouse, that that will help you out as well. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope to help you make a decision in life about life, about love, relationships, retirement, please consider contacting me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. We've got Terry, we've got Paula, and we've got Jody. We've got a couple other people that just kind of peeped in, didn't make any comments. That's cool. If you want to watch the show live, that's cool. You can also watch it after the show is over in the rebroadcast. In the description, you're going to see a few links. The first link you're going to see is the friend of the father partner link. And when you click that link, what that will do is that will take you to a PayPal page. And on the PayPal page, you're going to see a few drop down options. And the first set of drop down options is going to be the friend of the father partner program. And the friend of the father partner program, what that is, we take your donations and we use those funds to help keep the program alive. We've got a crisis telephone line. The mobile service that we have is with Tello. They're not paying me to say this, but we use Tello. And we were able to get a real cheap program for $90 that will cover the entire year. We pay monthly, but offhand, $90 that will cover the entire year of service. So if by chance, if you want to donate 
to the Friend and Father Partner Program to help keep the program alive and donate a mere $90. $90 that will keep the crisis line active for an entire year. The other part of the drop down set is the Living Legacy Program. The Living Legacy Program, that is where we'll take uh, legacy, legacy mobile devices, laptops, notebooks, and now Samsung Galaxy Notes. Okay, and the reason why we chose the Samsung Galaxy Note is when we donate the mo legacy mobile devices to senior citizens, the Samsung Galaxy Note comes with a stylus. So with their frail hands, they can pull out the stylus and navigate online and their apps and whatnot with the built-in mobile stylus. So what we do is we take legacy mobile devices, laptops, notebooks, and Samsung Galaxy Notes, we refurbish them, bring them back to Factory Reset, and donate them to senior citizens 65 and older with no income requirements. We're not going to ask them about net, gross, nothing like that. Hey, if you know a senior citizen and you, if you are a senior and you need a legacy mobile device, hey, contact me, call me, send me an email, give me the details and we'll connect. What you'll also see in the drop down set is a reference to open or private. The open that is where we'll tell, we'll tell any and everybody who donated, how much they donated. The private, that's where we'll keep who donated confidential. So we won't tell who actually donated. And if by chance, if you want to donate financially to the Living Legacy Program, what your funds will do is they will pay for accessories. Sometimes a senior will receive a mobile device, laptop, notebook, for example, and even a uh, Samsung Galaxy Note, they may want an external keyboard. They may want an external mouse. They even may want an external webcam or case for the phone. So your funds will help purchase items like that. The other in the description is the themed merchandise link. And the themed merchandise link is when you click that, what that will do is that will take you to a cafe press page and when you get to the cafe press page, you're going to see all kind of cool theme merchandise. You're going to see the friend of the father partner merchandise, cups, uh, t-shirts, coffee mugs, all kind of cool stuff, as well as merchandise that has the eye and the devil heart and each of the seven deadly sins. I love greed. I love lust. I love wrath. I love pride, for example. So when you purchase items from the theme merchandise page, that will also help keep the program alive. The third link that you're going to see in the description is the Father Al wish list. And when you click that link, what that will do is it will take you to an Amazon.com page. And on the Amazon.com page, you're going to see my wish list. If you've been around a while, you'll notice that people will donate cigars, cigar accessories, golf accessories, all kind of great stuff. So if by chance, if I helped you out in some small way and you want to send some love to me, Father Al, please consider clicking the Father Al wish list link in the description and send some love to me as a way of saying thanks. Hey, for those of you who have been with me thus far, love you, love you, love you, and love you in the future if by chance you haven't watched the show, but you're just now starting to watch the show. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. So, so far we've got Terry, we've got Paula, and we've got Jody interjecting your comments in the chat line. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope to help you make a decision in life about life, about love, relationships, whatever your issues may be, please consider contacting me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. Our Facebook and Twitter handle is Confess the Sins. Again, Facebook and Twitter is Confess the Sins. Our Instagram handle is Official Confess the sins again official confess the sins is our instagram handle again facebook and twitter confess the sins the instagram handle is official confess the sins after this show is over live what you're going to see is on my personal facebook page is going to see is going to say al jones was live at confessions from the quarantine and then a little later on today, I'm going to create a rebroadcast of the show with some additional graphics for people to watch on YouTube. So 
later on today you're going to see that on my personal facebook page so if by chance if you know somebody that doesn't have a facebook account that wants to watch the show on youtube they can do so in the rebroadcast i'm going to have some additional graphics on this side of the screen you're going to see the qr code and the qr code that will allow you to take your mobile device scan the qr code and then it will advance you to the paypal page for you to make the donation also at the top of the screen you're going to see the URL for the themed merchandise page. That is www.cafepress.com slash confess the sins. So that's what you're going to see on the rebroadcast. I'm going to create one for YouTube later on tonight. And more than likely, tomorrow morning, you'll see one that is available on Instagram. Probably a three-part uh, broadcast on Instagram. So that's what I've got for you. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please click the like, click the like, click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. Again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, season number two, episode number 56. So let's go and roll forward with the next one that I've got. All right, it says, Dear Father Al, you have helped people in the past with personal credit questions. I need your help with one. I got you. Can you tell me which is better at raising my personal credit score? adding a new credit card or requesting a credit limit bump on my existing credit card signed California card holder all right California card holder I'm going to go go ahead and reply back to you if by chance if you've got some credit issues and you're interested in getting some information about your personal finances and boosting your credit that kind of stuff hey I'm your guy I've got an 850 FICO score went from having bad credit to having an 850 FICO score. So please consider contacting me and I'll help you out the best way possible. So again, you're here with me, Father Al with Confessions from the Quarantine. We've got Terry, we've got Paula, and we've got Jody interjecting their comments. If you have a similar situation you're dealing with it, interject your comments in the chat line and I'll talk about those as well after I'm done with my piece. So this is what I've got for California card holder. All right, dear California card holder, actually neither is good at raising your personal credit score. Applying for a new credit card will generate what is called a hard inquiry and will lower your credit score. Requesting a boost of your existing credit limit is likely can't recall, but it's likely to generate a hard inquiry as well. The difference between, hey Jan, so the difference between a soft inquiry, that's when you generate your own credit report and score printout. That's a soft inquiry. That won't drop your credit score. But when you have somebody else, you go open, you know, apply for a card, get a home loan, that kind of stuff, that is a hard inquiry and that'll drop your score. So again, Requesting a boost of your existing credit limit is likely to generate a hard inquiry, which may lower your credit score. Regular use and payment of that card will likely trigger a credit limit boost after about six months of active use. Let the card issuer Citibank, Discover, whomever, boost your limit for you versus you requesting the limit boost yourself. All right. Also, if you pay for phone bills, you know, bills like you know, bills, for example, like your mobile phone bill, uh, your utility bills using your credit card, consider, and they're not paying me to say this either, but consider 
checking out Experian.com. And Experian, they have the FICO scoring model, which is often used by lenders. You've got the Advantage score, which is often used by, uh, generated by trans, TransUnion. But the one that's most popular used by, by lenders is the FICO score. So ex, uh, Experian uses FICO score in their, that algorithm, per se. So consider checking out Experian.com. They're not paying me to say this. Check out Experian.com and take a look at their credit boost service. You may have seen some advertisement about that. And what that will do is they will tap into your credit card history upon your approval and they'll take a look at your history of paying, for example, your, your mobile phone, various utilities on a regular basis. And what they'll do is they will use that history in the calculation of boosting your credit score. So some people can get you know, 15, 20 some odd point boost by adding those additional charges that are on a regular basis, that history, into the whole ag algorithm. So I've used it in the past. It's helped me a, a bit. As I recall, I was stuck at uh, 848, if not 849 for a long time. I saw the boost service. I thought, ah, I don't know. So I decided to go ahead and try it. And it took me over the top, took me right to 850 with the use of the credit boost service. So consider, again, the Experian credit boost service if you're looking for safe ways to boost your credit score. So that's what I've got for you, a California cardholder. Again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We've got Terry, we've got Paula, we've got Jody, and we've got Jan. Love you, ladies. Love you, love you, love you. Smooches, smooches, smooches. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Well, sidebar information, Paula and Jan, both of those two are my cousins. I use a service, they're not paying me to say this either, a service uh, 23 and Me, and did the whole DNA background info and discovered that Paula and Jan were my DNA relatives. So I thought that was kind of cool. So looking forward to get a chance to meeting Paula and Jan in person. Jan lives here in Arizona. Paula lives out of state. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column. <laughs> Back at you, XXO, Jan. Again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. We've helped many people out in the past, and I'm hopeful that we can help you out as well. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope to help you make a decision, back at you, Jody. <laughs> Again, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope to help you make a decision in life about life, about love, relationships, whatever your issue may be, please consider contacting me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. Today is Saturday, July 3rd. It's crazy. The year's just blowing by. Season number two, episode number 56. So let's go and roll forward with the next one. If by chance, if you've entered uh, experience, something similar to what we've talked about on the show today, please interject your comments in the chat line and I will read those off as well. So let's go and roll forward with the next one. Cigars unraveling, that's crazy. How about that? So I get cigars, I get cigar accessories and people have been sending me some great cigars. The heat, hey, we've got a lot of heat here in Phoenix. And it's taking its toll on some of the cigars. I've got a, a humidifier that was donated to me as well as cigars. So I'm trying to work through dealing with the whole humidity issue and the heat, excessive heat here in Phoenix. This is my hometown in Phoenix, but sometimes it can be a bit much. <laughs> so this is what I've got. Next one. It says, dear, 
Father Al, I have a construction project in place and is going to be a few weeks before I'm able to get temporary chain link fencing to protect the property. Finding labor for security is also challenging. Can you help with other suggestions on protecting the property in the meantime? Sign construction protection. All right, construction protection will help you out. If by chance you've experienced something similar, please go ahead and interject your comments in the chat line and I will read those off after I'm done with my piece. You're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is Saturday, July 3rd, season number two, episode number 56. Our Facebook and Twitter handle is Confess the Sins. Again, Confess the Sins is our Facebook and Twitter handle. Our Instagram handle is official confess the sins. Again, official confess the sins. Again, in the description, you're going to see a few links. The first link you're going to see is the friend of the father partner link. Click that link. It will take you to a PayPal page and you're going to see a bunch of drop down options. The first one is going to be the friend of the father partner program. Hey, if you're interested in helping us keep the program alive, please consider donating some financial contribution to us to help us keep the program alive. We'll take any amount, $90. What that will do is that will keep the phone line active for an entire year. The second part of the drop down you're going to see is the Living Legacy Program. That's where we'll take legacy mobile devices, laptop notebooks, Samsung Galaxy Notes. We'll take those, the ones that are donated to us, and we've refurbished them and then bring it back to Factory Reset and donate them to senior citizens 65 and older. We got a bunch of stuff in the back. Also, you're going to see in the description the uh, Confession from the Quarantine theme merchandise link. And that, what that will do is that will take you to the theme merchandise page. You're going to see some cool merchandise, the Friend of the Father Partner merchandise, as well as the I, Devil Heart, and each of the Seven Deadly Sins. I love greed, I love lust, I love wrath, I love pride. Bunch of cool stuff, t-shirts, coffee mugs, a bunch of stuff. Also, you're going to see the Father Al wish list link in the description. If by chance if I helped you out, even in some small way, and you want to send some love to me and Father Al, whether it's cigar accessories, golf accessories, golf balls, that kind of stuff, hey, please consider clicking the link and show some love to me for helping you out, even in some small way. A bunch of people have helped me out by sending some stuff that I like, <laughs> cigars, cigars, accessories. So thank you for those who have done so thus far. So we've got Terry, we've got Paula, we've got Jody, and we've got Jan. All right, Jody, take care. Thank you again. Thanks again for checking in with us. So you're here with me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's go and roll forward with the next one that I've got. All right. Actually, the response to construction protection. All right, dear construction protection, if your lot size is really big, and we're going to go over on the time, so hey, stick with us, please. So if your lot size is really big and your challenge is that one person can't effectively guard the property alone, consider this. I've seen solar powered trailers which have light assemblies attached. There may be uh, some with just motion sensors to trigger the lights, the little kind of little light towers to come on and deter thieves. I've also seen at some of the grocery stores nearby, I've also seen products like Patrol cam, patrol cam, not paying me to say this, but that's what I saw on the sticker on the little mobile trailer. It was by patrol, patrol cam, which is solar powered. It has light and camera assemblies, as well as a sensor, which announces messages, 
please back away kind of stuff when an object gets within a certain range of it. You might be able to remotely keep an eye on your property with a few of these strategically placed on your property. They're not, again, they're not paying me to say this, but I thought, hey, you know, it'd be kind of a cool idea to at least check out. So you may see some stuff online, do some research online. Um, what was it called? It was called Patrol Cam and a bunch of other names they may call the different products. So check some, some stuff out like that, and that may be able to help you out construction protection. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is Saturday, July 3rd, season number two, episode number 56. We're going to roll forward with the last one that I've got. All right, the last one that I've got, it says, Dear Father Al, I am a divorced woman. I'm a widowed man, widower. I am a divorced woman. My ex and I live in two different states. Most of mine seem to be in Texas. We have three grown children now out of school. Their father paid minimal required child support for the kids uh, he denied them anything extra. It happens. No medical coverage for them when he made much, much more money than I do. I got to, I've, I've got, looks like I've, I've got uh, ordered, court order. I got court ordered. I do get, here we go. I do get court ordered alimony. How new, uh, I've got a new man in my life. Love, exciting and new. Huh? Love both things. <laughs> uh, thinking of marriage, <clears throat> thinking of marriage. Will I lose my alimony? Please help. I'm worried. Signed, Divorce A. All right, Divorce A. I'll help you out. Again, you're here with me, Father Al, and I'll help you out next week. You're here with me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service, and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope to help you make a decision in life about life, about love, relationships, whatever your issue may be, please consider contacting me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine. Please click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up. Tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. Again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. Until next week, go in peace. <laughs>